Thompson approach, the dorsal approach to the forearm. This video has been produced from a book source. We would like to thank editors and authors Mark D. Miller, A. Bobby Chabra, Joseph S. Park, Francis H. Shen, David B. Weiss, James A. Brown. Citation, Miller, M.D., 2008. Orthopedic Surgical Approaches, Saunders, Elsevier. Indications, ORIF of proximal and middle radial shaft fractures, radial osteotomy, exposure of tumors and masses in the forearm, and pin decompression and exposure, positioning. The patient is supine with the forearm in pronation. Exsanguinate the limb and elevate the tourniquet. Incision. Identify and mark the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and Lister's tubercle on the distal radius. Draw a line beginning just anterior to the lateral epicondyle and ending on the ulnar side of Lister's tubercle. Interval. Between the ECRB and EDC, both innervated by the pin. Superficial dissection. Incise skin and subcutaneous tissues. Identify the ECRB and EDC and incise the fascia at this interval. Retract these muscles to expose the supinator and APL. Use caution and identify the pin as it exits the supinator and continues distally in the forearm on top of the APL. Deep dissection. Identify the pin as it exits the supinator one centimeter out of distal to the muscle belly, and carefully divide the supinator from distal to proximal, carefully visualizing and protecting the pin at all times. Be careful to identify distal branches and visualize and protect these branches at all times. If the pin is difficult to identify distally, it can be located proximally as it enters the supinator and the muscle belly can be divided in a proximal to distal fashion, fully supinate the forearm, and identify the supinator on the anterior surface of the radius. Subperiosteally strip the supinator muscle from the radius and reflect it to expose the proximal radius. Middle dorsal approach. Deep dissection. After visualization of the pin and its distal branches, Identify the APL and EPB subperiosteally free the superior border of the APL and the inferior border of the EPB from the radius and retract these muscles to expose the middle third of the radius. Distal dorsal approach. Deep dissection. Subperiosteally dissect the interval between the ECRB and EDC distally. Retract to expose the distal third of the radius. Closure. Close the skin and subcutaneous tissue after hemostasis. Thanks for watching.